Hi, I'm Kat Shea, and I'm here to tell you that F-ups are wonderful. So um, it's inevitable. Every actor, if you're an actor and you're auditioning, you are going to go in and you are going to flub a line or somehow screw up your audition. But what I'm here to tell you is that can lead to your most shining moment, depending on how you react to it. I mean, it can be a wake-up call where, okay, you screwed up, so you're going to become much more connected and much more um, alive and spontaneous and in the moment. Um, it can just sort of shock you into reality and make you more authentic. So, look, the reasons that you screw up, you know, it can be anything. It can be that you're just not relaxed into the moment, that you're trying too hard, that you rushed and you weren't quite ready. Um, but none of that's important. It's really how you react to it and what you do with it. Because if you take it as that little wake-up call, it can slow you down, it can get you more connected, it can get you more real, it can get you more in the moment. Now, um, initially I noticed this when I was directing my first movie called Strip to Kill, and I had cast a lot of non-actors. They, they were um, actual real dancers, and I trained them in my living room. So what I did was I told them that they could not cut themselves under any circumstances. I didn't care if a light fell, if the ceiling was falling, if the cameraman fell off his camera, they were not allowed to cut themselves. And what I noticed is when they made a little mistake, it would really get them even more centered and more connected and more real. It was the most real moment in the whole take. So, um, I was telling a musician about this. I tell a lot of my students about it too, but I was working with a musician who um, played in a band with a really famous singer and he wanted to segue into acting. And I was telling him, don't worry about messing up your lines because he was very worried about messing up his lines. I said, you know, if you love a line, it can be the greatest gift. It can really connect you more deeply to... Um, you know, the person that you're working with, that, to yourself, to the lines and to what they mean. And he just lit up and said, oh my God, that's just like when I play. When I'm on stage in a big arena playing for massive amounts of people, if I make a mistake, it suddenly just catapults me to the next level and I get really inspired and I'm just doing things that I didn't even expect to do. And it was because of the mistake. So uh, this, it can be an incredible thing. It can be really helpful for you as an artist. I mean, I even found it to be true for me um, in my directing work. Um, when I was directing Carrie 2, I didn't have a lot of prep time. And um, at one point I was shooting a very complex series of shots and I got lost pretty early on. And my brilliant DP, who's so accomplished and amazing was also lost just as bewildered as I was and so was the script supervisor who was supposed to be keeping track of everything just we were all completely lost and rather than freaking out because 200 crew members were waiting on me I just went okay this is what we're going to do instead and I just went with the magic of the moment and the life of it and just did all this unconventional stuff and it turned out to be one of the most interesting and um, sort of uh, artistically expressive moments in the movie. So, um, and it looked really cool too. So anyway, F-ups are good. If you embrace them, um, you know, go with it. See where it takes you and um, don't be thrown by it. When you're not thrown by it, that shows how um, confident you actually are as an artist and that 